What up, Dope Connors? Dragonstone prices will be changing. But the question is, which versions will be getting this change? How much of a change will it be? Is it going to be permanent or temporary? Let's answer all of those questions in this video. My main reason for doing this is because I want to prevent there being a situation where expectation drives the narrative and conversation forward to the point where people get upset where things don't play out the way that they were thought or led to believe. So this is going to be a video kind of clarifying on a few things, not exactly answering everything, but at the same time, I want you guys to understand that this is all eventually being done for the sole purpose of returning to the status quo. So if you want to take anything away from all this, it's that nothing is going to change. But that being said, we're going to discuss all this. Please take all of this with an extreme grain of salt. There could be a couple of little details that might not necessarily be correct. I'm going to be trying to, to the best of my ability, explain this in layman's terms, but there might be a few things that even I'm not quite clear on just yet, because this is a very interesting situation. So the Dragonstone price change, what is this and why is this happening? This is happening because of an app update that's happening on Apple, across Apple entirely in certain regions. As early as October 5th, 2022, prices of apps and in-app purchases in Chile, Egypt, Japan, Malaysia, Pakistan, Poland, South Korea, Sweden, Vietnam, and all territories that use the euro currency, there will be an update. So for those regions, things will get more expensive, which means buying Dragonstones will get more expensive. So the point of this announcement that they're making in Dokkan on JP, mind you, as of me recording this video, there is no announcement on the global version of the game. I would imagine that there definitely will be, since the regions that I mentioned are obviously not just Japan. Every other region other than Japan would be on the global side of the game, which means Global would have to receive these announcements. I would imagine that every single version, no matter where you live, will get this announcement, but it will then say in the details, only these certain regions will be applied or will be affected. So if you live in Chile, or if you live in any other territory that has the Euro currency, which I believe is other countries in South America, as far as the Western Hemisphere is concerned, uh, you will be affected. But again, like I said at the very beginning of the video, it is all going to return to the status quo. That is the ultimate goal here. So as early as October 5th, so the, based on this wording and then based on what I'm about to express here, there could be a window of opportunity for prices being cheaper, but let me explain. So this is the translation for the announcement. In order to prepare for the Apple's price revision, we will be performing shop maintenance at midnight Thursday, October 6th. We will suspend the sales of Dragonstones and change the price. By the way, there's nothing I can do about the stupid thing that pops up. This is just the dumb Google Translate, so apologies for that. The end time of the shop maintenance is undecided and the start time may change. This is again because of the fact that we don't know exactly when this is going to be happening, but I think that they're doing this and they're wording it this way just to make sure that there is no situation where they do what they're about to do. Now, what are they going to do? Basically, what I think they're going to be doing here based on what I'm seeing is they're going to be reducing the prices. They are dialing it back in terms of the price points for all of their various stone purchases and packs. That way, once the app update kicks in and everything gets more expensive, that reduction goes back to normal. So think of this like Thanksgiving or, you know, during the holiday season, you want to eat a piece of cake, right? All right, I want to eat this piece of cake. I'm going to gain a couple of pounds by eating this cake. Maybe not a piece of cake. Maybe it's a whole cake. I'm going to eat this whole cake. Man, I'm going to gain some weight when I eat this whole cake. You know what I better do? I better jog for like 10 miles and lose five pounds. That way, when I eat the cake, I will gain the weight and get back to the point that I was before. So it's like that. Why did I use cake as an example? Maybe it's a true story. I, I, I will never confirm or deny, but it is what it is. So that is basically the analogy that you can use to kind of visualize what this is. So as you can see here, they are adjusting the prices. They're basically scaling them down. So prices will be discontinued due to the price change on the 5th of October, 1159, basically right before uh, Dragonstones. One plus two is 120 yen. I don't know how much a yen is in terms of dollars, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, Dragonstone, one, one, one piece? Okay, the translation's a little bit weird. 120 yen, 490, blah, blah, blah. All these prices are gonna be changing. Sales prices of Dragonstones after the price change, discount once a day. So it's gonna be reduced down to 160 yen, um, 480 yen. These are new products, apparently. So you're gonna be able to buy four stones. I think they're gonna be like adding new packs in the Baba Shop. 480 yen for four stones, 650 yen for eight stones, 14 for a thousand. Very interesting. And then this is where you notice the changes. 2080 yen goes down to 2000 yen for 30 dragon stones. 60 dragon stones for 39, uh, 3920 goes down to 3900. So in the grand scheme of things, each singular transaction doesn't see that much of a reduction. But if you were to buy in bulk 
that would be a pretty significant change in price, which is why I think they're going to do their best to avoid having there be a window of opportunity for people in these regions to actually buy these stones at the discounted price. But like I said, this being reduced just means that once the update kicks in, this will go back to the normal price. And I think if there were to be any reason for this, why like all of these regions are having this change, I think it's because the value of the Euro has gone down, which is why they have to like increase the price to like maintain the global exchange or something like that. Like I said, I'm not a macroeconomics dude. So if you know why, feel free to explain why this is all happening on Apple, but otherwise, eh, who cares? So back to this. So all of these things are being reduced. Now there's a couple of price points here that are going up. 980 yen to 1000 yen. This one's being increased. Daily Dragonstone's 50 and get, the, get out of the way, dude. Daily Dragonstone's 50 in total. So I don't know why this one's going up. Then again, I don't know if this is... I don't even know if this is a thing on Global. Dragonstone's 50 in total. Maybe this is like the most popular pack that people buy on uh, on Dokkan. And so while they're reducing everything else, they want to like capitalize on this by making this a little bit more expensive. Maybe. I don't know. The other exception is this right here. The five-step Dragonstone step one. It's a very weird wording, like I said. Uh, but the point of this is that these three right here are the tune keys. If you guys recall, the tune keys are those purple keys that you use to gain access to the Elder Kai, the Grand Kai stage, the paywalled event where you can get guaranteed link level ups. You buy those tune keys, or as they translate here, instruction keys, with the Dragonstone packs. And you can buy them in step up format. So the first level is 250 yen. They're changing that to 320. Now, that seems weird that they're increasing the price, but if you combine that with the other two steps, the sum total of the after values is less than the sum total of the before values. So 250 plus 490 plus 730 is greater than 320 plus 480 plus 650. So all in all, when you buy all three, you are saving. So the, the barrier of entry to actually buy the step-up packs is going to be a little bit higher, which is kind of dumb but at the same time if you do jump over that hurdle and you buy the first pack you do compensate by saving a little bit by buying the next two subsequent packs it's marketing 101 they want to try to get money from you while this update is happening they're doing their best to maybe like you know change some prices here and there to just get more money out of us i don't know um so that's uh, to my understanding what's going on here due to apple's schedule change the price will be changed earlier than thursday so this means that there could be a possibility where they reduce these prices at an earlier point I think they're kind of playing it by ear. So like whenever this actually kicks in, because this says as early as October 5th, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be October 5th. It could be a day after that, it could be two days after that. So they're basically like keeping their window of opportunity, they're you know, keeping their options open so that we don't get that window of opportunity. It would also be a very chaotic and unfortunate situation for players who don't reside in these regions. If we are all just chilling with our same normal prices, but then if you live in Japan or Egypt, and then one random Tuesday, you wake up and your Dragonstone prices are cheaper for like 12 hours. That's great for you, but it sucks for the rest of us. And I think that would cause a cascade of issues. So I think in their hopes of not creating that sort of chaos, they want to make sure that they are, you know, wording this in such a way where the store will be changing when the Apple update changes. So in the end, really, we're not going to be saving any stones. Nothing's going to be changing. So hopefully that clears things up. Hopefully that explains what's going on. Like I said, take this all with an extreme grain of salt. There could be minor details here that are subject to change based on the interpretation. Maybe I'm not getting all this right, but that pretty much should cover everything. So like if you live in California, like I do, it doesn't matter. If you live in, you know, another part of the United States, it doesn't matter. If you live in Canada, Canada, you guys don't have the Euro, right? I'm, I'm dude, I'm so lost when it comes to this stuff. Economics, like history, I don't know all that stuff. So, you know, wherever you live, you know who you are. You know if you have the Euro or not. Um, you guys will be affected and we won't. So in the end, nothing changes, but hopefully that clears things up. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that I missed. And if uh, hopefully this was a clear enough explanation for what's going on. If you live in one of those regions that are being affected, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think that there is going to be some sort of a window or a gap where the price gets reduced? and the uh the inflation across apple doesn't kick in yet let me know what you guys think in the comments down below also be sure to subscribe for more dope content of the future and click the notification bell so that you'll let you know i want to see more of my stuff do it make sure to keep an eye on the pinned comment if there's any other information that i want to add i will include it in there and also keep a sharp eye on dokkan and on twitter if anything drops i will let you guys know immediately thank you so much for watching stay tuned and always remember to dokkan responsibly